when choosing an Ars Linux based distribution. Two of the most prominent options today are Endor OS and Catch OS. Both distros share a common Arch foundation, but pursue different philosophies in terms of installation, performance optimizations, and default configurations. In this video, we will explore each distribution's background, key features, and differences to help guide your decision. What is Endor OS? Endor OS launched in mid-2029 as the successor to Antigar OS, aiming to keep the spirit of a user-friendly Arch experience alive. It follows a rolling release module, meaning you receive continuous updates rather than periodic major upgrades. The project's primary goal is to provide a near vanilla Arch environment while supplying an easy-to-use installer, which is Calamaris, and some lightweight convenience tools to simplify post-install configuration. As of February 10th, 2025, the latest ISO release is named Mercury, which includes up-to-date hardware support, default dark themes for several desktop environments, and fixes to BIOS UEFI installation workflows. Endor OS ships with the Pacman as its package manager, alongside popular EUR helpers like YAY, granting access to the complete Arch repository and the Arch user repository, which is AUR out of the box. Now, what is Catchy OS? Catchy OS emerged more recently as another Arch based distribution with a specific focus on out of the box performance and security optimizations. It targets users who want a pre-tuned Arch experience without manually tweaking kernels, bootloaders, or file systems. Key distinguishing features include a custom Linux CatchOS kernel optimized with propeller technology for better responsiveness under load and enhanced gaming performance, as well as a switch to the Lamine bootloader, supporting theming and straightforward BTRFS snapshot integration. The distro continuously refines its defaults. For example, the February 2025 release introduced propeller optimizations for multiple architectures.